This video will demonstrate managing devices with the Lenovo VR Classroom Immersive Learning Hub. Learn how to add or delete devices, how to view and edit device details, and how to organize devices into groups. The Devices tab is organized into a panel for device groups and a list of individual devices. Use the search bar, sort button, and filter button to find and organize devices in the devices list. Use the Actions drop-down menu to perform different functions on devices, such as Edit, Delete, Reboot, Update, or Undeploy. New devices can be added to the Immersive Learning Hub with either fast or manual registration. When adding multiple devices at the same time, the headsets must be the same device type. Click the Add Device button and select either single device or multiple devices. The fast registration method is selected by default in the Add Devices panel. Select the device type from the drop-down menu. When adding a single device, enter the device name and serial number into the fields that appear. When adding multiple devices, you will need to upload a CSV file containing the names and serial numbers for all the devices. Download the sample template CSV for reference when creating the CSV for your devices. Click the Submit button once your device information has been entered or uploaded. Your devices will be in pending status until powered on and connected to Wi-Fi. Click the Add Device button and select either single device or multiple devices. Switch to Manual Registration by clicking the tab at the top of the Add Devices panel. Select the device type from the drop-down menu and download the provisioning file from the link that appears. The generated provisioning file will expire after 24 hours. Upload the provisioning file to each device that needs to be added. The same provisioning file can be used for up to 1,000 devices. Once each device is powered on and connected to Wi-Fi, they will appear in your library of devices. To delete devices, select the device or devices that you wish to delete using the checkboxes. Click the Actions drop-down and select Delete. Deleting devices from the list cannot be undone. Make sure to carefully review the devices that you have selected in the Delete Device panel. If you accidentally selected an incorrect device, it can be deselected in this panel. Once finished reviewing your selections, click the Delete button to finish removing the devices from the list. Click on any device in the list to open a side panel that contains various information. The side panel includes three different tabs that display information about the device, the content on the device, and the subscription content on the device. To edit device information, select the device or devices that you wish to edit using the checkboxes. Click the Actions drop-down and select Edit. Change settings such as controller handedness and USB file transferability in the Edit Device panel. Editing the device name can only be done for a single device at a time and is not available when editing multiple devices at once. Click the Save button when finished making changes. To send a reboot command to devices, select the device or devices you wish to reboot using the checkboxes. Click the Actions drop-down and select Reboot. Review your selections in the Reboot Devices panel and click the Reboot button. Online devices will receive the reboot command immediately, and offline devices will receive the command the next time the device is online. Commands are not sent to devices with the pending status. If your organization settings are set to update device software manually, the Update command will be available to use in the Actions drop-down menu. Select the device or devices you wish to update using the checkboxes. Click the Actions drop-down and select Update. Review your selections in the Update Devices panel and click the Update button. Online devices will receive the Update command immediately, and offline devices will receive the command the next time the device is online. Commands are not sent to devices with the pending status. Most of the time, content management will happen on the Content Library tab. However, the Actions drop-down menu on the Devices tab also gives you the option to undeploy content from devices. Select a single device or multiple devices using the checkboxes. Click the Actions drop-down and select Undeploy to open the Undeploy tab. Review your device selections, make any desired changes, and click the Next button. Select the content that you wish to be undeployed and click the Next button. Review your device and content selections on the final screen and click the Undeploy button. Use the progress bar to track the overall undeployment process and check the install percentages to track progress for individual devices. There are two different ways to create a device group. Select your devices and drag them into the dotted line area of the Groups panel to create a new group containing those devices. Enter a name for the group and click outside the name to save it. 
To create an empty group, click the button in the top right corner of the Groups panel. To create a subgroup, select a group and click the button in the top right of the Groups panel. Enter a name for the subgroup and click outside of the name to save it. Up to two nested levels of subgroups are allowed within the main group. To edit a group name, select the group and click the Edit icon in the Groups panel. Enter a new name for the group and click outside of the name to save it. To delete a group, select the group and click the Delete icon in the Groups panel. Review your selection in the Delete Group panel and click the Delete button. Click the Delete button in the prompt window to confirm that you want to delete the group. If you delete a nested subgroup, devices will be moved to the parent group upon deletion. If you delete a group from the root level, all devices within that group and its subgroups will be moved to the ungrouped category upon deletion. For more information, watch our other videos about Lenovo VR Classroom or visit lenovo.com slash VR Classroom. For guides and documentation, visit support.lenovo.com slash VR Classroom. <laughs>